Have you ever wondered what lies at the edge of the universe? It's a question that has tickled the minds of philosophers, scientists, and curious thinkers for centuries. But to start unraveling this mystery, we must first grapple with the concept of an edge in a universe that is constantly expanding. You see, the universe doesn't behave like a balloon that's being inflated, where you can point to a clear boundary or edge. Instead, it's more like a loaf of raisin bread dough rising in the oven. As the dough expands, the raisins, or in our case, galaxies, move further apart. But does that mean there's a crust or an outer edge to our cosmic loaf? This is where scientific theories start to interplay. The Big Bang Theory, for instance, suggests that the universe began from a singular point, a singularity, and has been expanding ever since. Imagine standing in an infinite field and throwing a ball. No matter how far the ball travels, there's always more field ahead of it. Then there's the inflation theory. It suggests that just after the Big Bang, the universe underwent a period of rapid exponential expansion, faster than the speed of light. This would mean that the observable universe, the part we can see, is just a tiny bubble in a much larger cosmic expanse. But these theories, as compelling as they are, still leave us with more questions than answers. If the universe is expanding, what's it expanding into? If there's an edge, what's beyond it? And if there's no edge, then does the universe just go on forever? These are not easy questions to answer, and scientists are still grappling with them. They push the limits of our understanding, challenging us to rethink our place in the cosmos and the nature of reality itself. So, if the universe is constantly expanding, does it even have an edge? That, dear listeners, is the riddle of the cosmos, a question that continues to perplex us as we gaze into the starry expanse of the night sky. Imagine you're on a spaceship traveling at light speed to the edge of the universe. What would you find? Ponder this for a moment. The universe with its countless galaxies and infinite stars is a vast expanse that boggles the mind. When we think about the edge of the universe, we're faced with two primary theories, the closed universe theory and the flat universe theory. Let's start with the closed universe theory. Imagine, if you will, the universe as a colossal four-dimensional sphere. If this theory holds true, your light speed spaceship journey would be more of an infinite loop. You'd zip around the universe, passing galaxies and nebulas, only to end up back where you started. It's like traveling around the Earth. You may cover vast distances, but ultimately, you'll find yourself back at your starting point. The universe, in this theory, is finite yet unbounded. Contrast this with the flat universe theory. In this scenario, the universe isn't a sphere but more of an endless plane. If you were to set off in your spaceship in this universe, you'd keep going, and going, and going. There would be no looping back to your starting point because there's no curvature to loop around. The universe in this model is infinite and unending. Both theories have their proponents and detractors, each backed by complex scientific models and observations. Yet, they are just that, theories. Our understanding of the universe is constantly evolving, with each new discovery opening up more questions than answers. So, what would you find at the edge of the universe? A return ticket to where you started? An endless journey into the unknown? Or perhaps something else entirely? something our current understanding can't even begin to fathom. But these are just theories, and the truth might be something entirely different. Now what if I told you that our universe might just be one among many? Yes, that's the intriguing concept of the multiverse theory. It proposes the existence of a multitude of universes, each with its own laws of physics, dimensions, and even time. This theory posits that our universe is just a small bubble in an infinite cosmic ocean full of other bubbles each one a separate universe. This potentially limitless number of universes is what we call the multiverse. How does this change our understanding of the edge of the universe? Well, if the multiverse theory holds true, the edge of our universe might not be an edge at all. Instead, it could be a boundary, a transition point leading to another universe. Imagine you're in a room, you walk until you reach the wall, that's the edge. But what if that wall is actually a doorway leading to another room, or in this case, another universe? That's the kind of radical shift in perspective the multiverse theory offers. It's like the universe is a book, and what we once thought of as the end of the story may just be the beginning of another chapter. So, the edge of our universe could just be a doorway to another universe. So, what's at the edge of the universe? We've traversed the riddle of the cosmos, pondered the concept of an edge or no edge, and dipped our toes into the realm of the multiverse theory. 
And yet, the answer to the great unanswered question remains elusive. What's waiting for us at the edge of the universe? Despite our impressive strides in technology and our deepening understanding of the cosmos, the mystery remains. Our universe, it seems, is a master of keeping secrets. We've sent probes, telescopes, and our collective curiosity hurtling into the void, but the edge of the universe remains a mystery, hidden behind a veil of cosmic dust and dark matter. Perhaps there is no edge, but an endless expanse of cosmic mystery, a sea of galaxies and stars stretching into forever. Or perhaps our universe is but one of many, a bubble in an infinite cosmic foam. The answer might be closer than we think, or it could be a discovery for the next generation of space explorers. As we gaze into the night sky, we're not just looking at the stars, we're peering into the unknown, into the great, unanswered question that has puzzled humans since the dawn of time. As we continue to probe the mysteries of the cosmos, we may one day discover what truly lies at the edge of our ever-expanding universe.